Avada Trust Badges Shopify App Tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can install the Avada Trust Badges app into your Shopify store and make those labels for the products on your Shopify. So all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Shopify.com. Then you only need to set up your account, add your products, and then you are going to be set. For example, here for the products, I have added so many products since this is a, a demonstrative shop that I have created. So everything is set for also the payment method. Don't forget to set up the payment method because we are needing a fully functional store right away to make everything works well. So here we are on the admin dashboard. Now we are going to click on the search bar right away and then we are going to type Avada. Avada like this, trust badges. So now we are going to search for it in the app store. So here we have the app store or the Shopify app store. We're going to see here the Avada uh, trust badges and upsells, I think. And here we have it, which is on the left side. We have a five stars review and also rating. We have uh, more than 5,000 reviews. We have, or we will obtain a free plan available. So we are going to click on it. This is the Avada trust badges. As you can see here, we have a demonstration of the, uh, the badges and also of the app. All we need to do right there is you click on install. Then we are going to see here the landing page for the Shopify. And here we have it. This is the landing page. We are going to install this a specific app. We are going to click on install. And then we are going to see right away here at the app installed. And we are going to face the dashboard of this app. Then we are going to configure it uh, on our theme. So we need to activate it in the theme then we can proceed to the work of the app. So right away, we have the Avada Trust Badges app. We have here the dashboard. As you can uh, notice right here, we have the app is not enabled yet. So we need to activate it or enable it. We need only to click on that specific button. Then it will take us to the Shopify theme editor. As you can see here, we have the Avada now we are only going to make sure that it is enabled. Then we are going to click on save. Boom, here we have the change saved. Now we are going to cl close this page. Then we are going to refresh that page and see if everything works well. Here we have the dashboard and boom, it is activated. Now the app is situated right there on the left side menu or bar. As you can see, we have the menu of the app. We have the uh, dashboard. As you can see, we, we have enabled successfully our app. We need to create uh, our first offer. You are going to click on create offer. Then choose the type of the offer that you are going to set. For example, here we have uh, frequently bought together. Here we have upsell, uh, post purchase cross everything and etc. So we are going to head over the trust badges because we don't want to set an offer, but we are going only to set up the trust badges. Now we are going to click on create new here for the trust badges. We are going to set a name, for example, for it. here we have a new trust badges and we have here, uh, let's go ahead and put a name for it. So uh secure for example checkout like this i'm going to put this like that so we have the checkout here we have the checkout badges the custom badges and we can also upload some badges here for the checkout badges we have a two you can go ahead and set up a stripe you can add whatever you want here can add whatever from these badges these are the trust badges as you can consider so here you can maximize the conversion by uh, rates by exploring the upsell strategies from the app itself 
And, and now let's talk about the pl placement of this specific badge. As you can see here at the right side, we have the reviewer. Now we can go ahead and select the placement. So here we have the product page, we have the home page, we have the footer, the header, and etc. So we are going to set it as it is here from the beginning at the product page. Here we have the product page. You can specific some product pages or you can add it to all of the product pages. Now we have uh, the theme, as you can see, you can go ahead and copy and add the campaign ID below to trust badges block in a theme uh, page setting, then select a position and click save. So this uh, copy and add campaign ID below is going to be the uh, position of it, I think. So we are going to see here the preview of the desktop. This would be like this. Now we have the setup display. You can uh, go ahead and set up the uh, display right away. You can put it as a grid or a list. I'm going to put it here as a, um, a grid. A number of badges per row. So we are going to put here maybe two like this. This is better, I think. Maybe you can put one. I'm going to put two right away. So. Here you can go ahead and customize the size to make it a small, large, or I'm going to make it a little bit small for the alignment. You can go ahead and to put it here on three positions. And also we have some advanced settings like the typography, the, as you can see here, the color of the badges, and you can add also or custom the CSS right away. I'm going to click on save and add this specific here trust badge. So we are going to take a look at the store and select a product and see if everything will go well. So I'm going to choose a product. Then we are going to wait for the load of the specific page. So we are going to see here if we have the trust badges. Are these the trust badges? I don't know. So we are going to see it right away. I'm going to confirm here the trust badges that they are uh, going to work. So right here to make the trust badges work, we need to add uh, the campaign ID. So here we are going to copy this campaign ID. We need to go to the theme. Then we are going to add uh, this specific block to the theme. So right here, I think we are on the uh, product page. Now we are going simply to add it here. I have added it beforehand or beforehand. So we are going to see right away here how we can add those. Now I'm going to let you see how we can add it. So we go to the template for the product page. Now we are going to add a block, select an app. Then we are going to click on trust badges. Here we have the trust badges, click on it. And here we have the widget ID. So we are going to paste the widget ID that we've had from the app. And we are going to see here, go back and we are going to make it above the price or the buy button. So we are going to put it here and boom, here we have it. These are the trust badges right away. We are going to click on save. Then we are going simply to visit any page on the specific area of the products. I'm going to uh, visit this maybe. So we are going to wait and boom. Here we have the trust badges ready. So here we have it. Now for the settings, everything is set. If you didn't uh, save already, go ahead and save it. And boom, here we have the uh, trust badge set. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.